my biggest influence as far as in the surfing world with that kind of stuff was Severson. I mean, I think it was Severson, like making films and then like starting the magazine, shooting the photos, writing the articles, doing illustrations. It was so insane. Like that's where it all kind of came about. And at that time too, just watching a lot of old films, looking at a lot of photography. I love just like simple, pure shots, but I would hate like shots that looked like it was NASCAR with just logos everywhere and just the, the perfect shot. Like I got bored of that really quick and I was like, oh, that would look so much better if that was just like a blue board with like a green pair of trunks with that backdrop, it would have looked more like a painting. And I just started seeing it that way of like what I didn't like the way it looked like. So I was like, what if I painted that person with no face and they were all blue and things that weren't supposed to be literal. If I could just tweak and I think that just from watching cartoons as a kid and just seeing things, you know, out of context, but you still knew what it was. Usually I'll just start with a really loose pencil and then rework it as I go. And with the paint I use, just acrylic, really watered down acrylics, if I don't like it, I can just paint over it. And I do, I'll paint over and over and over it again. And it's, it's definitely not perfect. You can see brush strokes, you can see clumps of paint, but if, the one thing I feel about it that I've learned over the years is that's okay. And you can see the emotion in it and there's like depth and I don't know. I just, I enjoy working through it and it's never right in the beginning. We're in Trinkus up in Malibu. That's what this center, this beautiful space is called. And I'm having an art show here and a pop-up shop for a month. Yeah, and just painting right now. Um, probably will be painting up until the very start of the show. That's usually how it works and never finish until the very end. And I have my wonderful friend Randall over here who helps me with everything. Yeah, I'm excited about this body of work. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of an evolution of the last show I had. and. Um, yeah, it's for people that know my work, it's it's a little bit different. There's no surfing involved in it. Um, it's kind of all derivative of surfing and with movement and, and energy and flow, but there's no literal waves or boards or anything. If you surf, you totally can see it. If you don't, it may be interpretive of dancing or something else or even kind of like indigenous people and just kind of trying to shed, you know, good vibes on all of us. It's pretty neat to feel like you made something that meant something to someone, that they're happy that you made it and it made them feel, you know, took them out of their day to day and they appreciated it and, you know, it touches them in some way that, they, you know, reminds them of something or, I don't know, that, that, that thing is really, uh, makes, it makes you feel pretty lucky that, you know, you got to do something that went beyond what you thought it was going to be and meant something to other people. Thank you.